So why? Why do you want to be this Peter Pan mum? Well, nowadays, I think we all live longer and um, we like to look better and fit with how we feel inside. I mean, I still don't think I'm as old as I am. I still think I'm 30, yeah. so I don't want to look 52. Yes. Mm. Why Jessica Rabbit? Well, it was just a bit of a joke because I, my waist is nipped in and I've got big boobs and I've got the big penciled eyebrows, so that was it. I just sort of got nicknamed Jessica Rabbit. Well, these sort of nips and tucks don't come cheap, do they? No. It's, this is, we think, somewhere in the region of about £80,000. Yeah, that's right. So how have you afforded that? Because you are uh, your health and safety associate. Yes, that's right. So is it, is it on credit? Um, well, obviously, I do that work and I do it online and I get uh, good money for that. And then credit plays part of it. <laughs> so have you maxed out your credit cards? Mm -hmm. OK, yeah, so, you're in, so essentially you're in debt. It's put you in debt. Yes. Gosh, wow. And it's also put you in, in trouble health-wise as well because mm. all the surgery you've had, um, there have been moments where it's gone wrong. Yeah, that's right. I had um, liposuction on my legs. And I was warned before the operation that there may be slight grooving. I didn't, wasn't prepared for massive grooving and ripples. And whereas my legs before were OK, now I won't even um, go to the water's edge on the beach without having a wrap round me. Mm. Because you've been left with these horrendous legs that I really need to have repaired. So do you, do you regret that now? Totally. I, I think it was because I'd had my breast enlargement with the surgeon, he recommended his colleague, and because I'd been happy with the breast enlargement, I decided to go with his colleague. Um, and I had it done under twilight and I was in agony. And then even the next day I could see there was something wrong with them. And the nurse had also told him to stop during the procedure. So you believe that, and obviously we can't go into too much mm -hmm. detail there because um, we don't have uh, his side of the argument, but you believe that if there is a circumstance where a surgeon has behaved in a manner uh, which would dis disappoint me, uh, mm -hmm. you, to, to put it mildly, um, there should be a naming and shaming. Uh, yes. what, you, you, should be, you should be able to name these people. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can go on to Good Surgeon Guide and other sites like that and, you know, do a review of your surgeon. Mm. But I think it'd be better if you just had the plain list of all the names and shames and it'd be easier. The trouble is, though, when you have this sort of... When you have as much as you've had, um, they will all say, if you have this sort of cosmetic surgery, it runs an element of risk. You put yourself mm. at risk by having it. Yes. Um, and I did sign an agreement to that, but when you're told slight ripples and you've actually got huge indents, that's not a slight ripple. So I think if you're warned of certain things but then it goes beyond it, mm. then they should be held responsible. But it hasn't stopped you wanting more. No, no. What are you going to have now? Um, well, I'm going to have my legs repaired mm. and then I want something done with the bottom of my face. I don't know whether a neck lift or a lower face lift. Um, and then I think I'm going to go for the designer vagina as well. Wow, so you've got a whole shopping list here. Yeah, definitely. More credit, more debt. Mm. <laughs> um, and what about your love life? Because you, uh, you, you're you a single lady, so... Mm -hmm. But you have quite a specific type of guy that you go for, and that is much younger than you. What's your age limits? I was sort of um, up to about 35. Well, why? What do you get from the younger men? Um, I just prefer them. I've had a couple of relationships with um, guys a similar age to me or five years younger, and I found them to be an absolute nightmare. They've just been so horrible to me. In what way? Um, well, bullying and expecting me to do things. And um, with the younger guys, it's, it's easier. You can go out, you know, they go shopping with you. And I always have so much fun with them. Lots of laughs and giggles. Whereas the older guys don't want to do that. You and know. are you looking for a, a lasting relationship, something, someone you can settle down with? I don't know, really. I quite like being single, you know. So just see how the one I'm in at the moment goes. But I can't see myself getting married or anything like that. Well, you've got uh, two sons. Mm -hmm. uh, one's 17, I think one's 27. Yeah, that's right. And you, you date well within their sort of a a age range, don't mm -hmm. you? Sort Sometimes, 18 yes. plus. So what do they think about it? Um, they don't really talk about it to me. I, um, I don't think they essentially prove it, uh, approve of it, but... They've described it as uncomfortable, I think. Yes. <laughs> yes, they're uncomfortable when the, the people are close to their age. Mm. And obviously I'm, I wouldn't see any of their friends either, anything like that. You've got to have some boundaries. Um, are you addicted? Probably, yeah, but I'm not doing any harm and I don't drink, I don't smoke. Um, I don't really spend money on very much, so this is what I like. Is there a worry that, um, that because you 
are constantly in search of, mm. of, the, of the perfect you, um, outwardly, um, that you can't hold back time forever, that eventually your face will get frightening. <laughs> yeah, probably, but um, when I think about, like, Joan Rivers, I mean, OK, her face was a bit pulled and nipped too much, but she was 80, wasn't she? Something like that. And if you can be 80 and have a face like that, I don't see what the problem is. And as you say, not doing any harm to anyone. No, exactly. But you might be doing harm to yourself. I mean, this is the, always the worry, isn't it, that you go into any sort of surgery. You have got your two children yes. and that responsibility you have towards them, but mm -hmm. yet that doesn't stop. No, because um, I make sure I'm always he really healthy before the surgery. I'll take vitamins and I'll take arnica for the bruising. So I'm fully prepared when I go in and I've never had a problem with an anaesthetic before. Okay. So. Oh, good luck. Will you yes, tell your sons luck. when you go in for your next set of uh, treatment? <laughs> um, I don't know because usually I tell them afterwards because otherwise they'll tell me not to. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> stay right. safe. Thank yes. You very much thank indeed. you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Uh, if you're injecting yourself every day with uh, this human growth yeah. hormone, um, which is incredibly dangerous. It can be incredibly dangerous. So I, aren't you thinking about your children then? I think, I mean, the media have obviously blown out huge stories yesterday. Mum of three injects Class C drugs. I don't smoke. I don't drink. But I you don't. are a mum of three. I am you a mum of three. That's correct. I am injecting drugs. classy drugs. That's correct.